This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their Data Tools unit. I'm on Lesson 9, Permanent Data Storage, Puzzle 7. What happens when you change the object? Let's experiment by adding a property to the object and storing it again. So we'll have to pick an object. All right. Do this. Add a property to the song object, song.artist equals Beyonce. It should now have three properties, the title, the seconds, and the artist. Okay, well, let's check our data here. My songs. All right. So, great. That is there. If it's not there for you, you need to go back and do the other parts of the lesson. So, we need to add a property to the song that artist. Okay. So, let's grab a variable. And to add a property, we can look right here. We're going to go ahead and use... Yep, we're going to use dot notation. So, song dot artist, okay, and then equals Beyonce. And so this is going to add to our song object, and this is the information in our song object, single ladies, uh, 199 seconds, and soon it will be Beyonce. And remember, each part, each property of our object is a different column so it can all be in the same row right so and the dot think of it as a variable that's a part of just a single thing so all of this is part of the song variable all right let's go ahead run the program update the database i'm hitting run but uh looking good so far let's reset that and go to data and i added it oh interesting Oh, okay. So I guess we're good. I thought it would add it to the same row. Oh, I know what it's doing. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's keep going. We're going to learn more about it in the next part. Awesome.